Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number 19 of Let's Play In The Space. We're using the useless game view. Now we need to move into a more useful one. Now, I was making sure that all of our planets were making this hydro resequencing thing. We need an exploitation on the methane. That thing, that thing, that thing, sure. Let's just click those off, then click them on again. That's the easiest way to move them down. Hydro resequencing. I want it on every planet. We've explored most of the moons. We explored these? Oh, yeah. They're orange, meaning there's something good on them. And blue apparently just means they're empty. Okay, cool. Colonized all the planets. Hydro resequencing. Exploitation on arid. Remove toxic. Go with food. Everything. Survey the moon. Another methane planet needing. Oh, I've already been here. Never mind. Looks like all of them. Okay, cool. We're ready. Advance. I am really scared that someday the amoeba or the automatons are just going to be like, you know what? Let's kill that guy. <laughs> just turn on me and send like this doom fleet. Um, plus 30% industry cost. So this starts now. And somebody else did the hostile action. So it's actually plus 50% cost. Somebody else did the the nice one. So overall looks like minus 35% science. We figured out how to make a fancy science thing. You know what would be really cool is right here when it pops up it says you have a new system improvement, a little button that says add to queue for all all things. Look at this hydro resequencing. Building it on everything. Sweet. Now we just need to add in this thing too. Yeah, we'll worry about it later. I'll wait until I see them working on the food thing. Okay. Am I actually able to tell that they're not colonizing this one? Hmm. It's probably because of the amoeba. We might even actually take over Quorum. So, eight more turns. Eight is actually within reach. Let me guess, the automatons. <laughs> nope, it's mine. That's fantastic. Goodbye. We'll welcome you back again soon. Oh, now we have the 30% food thing. Science is going pretty crazy. Still fifth, of course. Okay, next turn. <laughs> There's like nothing else to do. It's just you get a new science, you build the buildings, you click the end button. Next turn. I think I think there's like too many units. It slows the game down too. Hmm. Plus 0.5 experience bonus when assigned on hero. And fascinating.
Is anybody doing the food thing? Yep, so that means that they've, they've built everything. There's nothing else available for them to build. So let's move that up and that up. And you will move stuff up. Food. You and you can go up. Population is skyrocketed. They're still growing very quickly, even with 75% focus on on science. And we're still getting tons of science despite the uh, the negative events. Global event is subtracting 938. Maybe I should go... Deneb here could have double the population that it currently has. Since science is, is affected right now, maybe it would make sense instead to focus on population growth. Sure, let's do that. Another temp. Ten percent food. Yay. When the automatons decide to attack me, I'm screwed. Totally gonna explode. I mean everyone's gonna die. more turns we'll have quorum hydro resequencing gosh that is such a good thing like take like a planet like uh what's the best population planet like with this one here 26 people so it just gives a flat increase of oh hey that's a cool view can you actually move them around from here hey that's pretty cool Alright, but yeah, so you take like this thing, and you can look here, and so it's got the, uh, what, can I see the thing over here? Can I see it? Apparently you have to click the hanger button to pull up the improvements list. Nice. That makes sense. Yeah, so plus one food, industry, dust, and science, times 26 people. 26 extra base stuff. That's, that's awesome. Just five more turns. And another global event. Endless signals discovered. Wow, it's really starting to lag. Jeez. Uh, ten percent sight and twenty percent influence area for twenty turns. Okay, so that would probably benefit me the most because I've got a ton of population now. Doesn't surprise me. I swear, as soon as they get capped out on every possible building, then I'm gonna just make nothing but ships. Till then, we need to get caught up on improvements. growing so freaking fast. The question is, can we catch up? I think I am catching up. Catching up to the pilgrims. Whoa, look at that. Now I'm third in Fid's... Stupid mouse. I hate how it does that. I'm not moving the mouse. Stay still. Stop it. I'm, I'm doing nothing, and yet it keeps going in and out. Probably because there's, like, troops moving or something. It's really frustrating. Well, I was third. Now I'm fourth. I'm still fifth in science, but uh, we're, we're catching up on production as we get all this stuff in. And as we continue to exterminate the uh, cravers, it might be even better. I 
Actually, I'm, did I ever make a colony ship? I want to I want to steal Fidus. 18 people here. 229 production. How long would it take me to make a colony ship? Well, ships are really expensive, so it would take me two turns to make a colony ship. Nah, let's not worry about it. Especially because it's in the center of Craver territory, so they could just come and attack it when it's really weak. Invade it right away. Uh, no. I'm never gonna trade with you, and I don't care about the automatons. Still getting almost 900 science per turn. Hey, look at that! This guy's done! But he's not population capped. If I take this off, is he still going to grow? Yes. So let's focus on science then until it's pop capped, and then I'll focus on ships. How about you? Regulus. That's the most it's going to get. It is pop capped, so it can make ships. Swarms. Ad infinitum. And actually, something I could even do further is make sure that we have no food planetary exploitations on them. Okay, you need to make that and then that. We're about to capture Quorum. We'll see what the Cravers have done to it. Probably destroyed its production. I think their bonus only lasts like 20 turns. So... Supremacy victory. I am fifth in everything. Third in FIDS production again. I think we're gaining on the pilgrims. When I turn my attention towards ships, it's going to get crazy. Do I want 1,500 dust? Nope. Don't want experience. Okay, I don't want any of this. Well, I guess in that case I'll take the dust. The pilgrims have started to invade my system of edicts. It's not cool. It's going to take you 999 turns because you have... Wow, that's a big fleet. 9,000 strength, but there's no invasion power. System defense is 790. Didn't I build something in here that like lets them shoot at them? Oh, Cloud Rippers. Plus one collateral damage against aircraft. Plus 150 defense. Yeah, I need to finish that. Come on, get to work. Why is it going to take me 999 turns to make this? Oh, it doesn't have access to Hyperium. Okay, we'll build the Cloud Rippers and shoot them out of the sky. Not pop capped. Still growing very fast. Focus on science until you're ready. Also, not pop capped. Focus on science. Nope. Is pop capped. Has every construction it can make, and so you make swarm ships now. 
One more turn, we get Quorum. A momentous occasion. 128 turns into the game, we actually take over a planet without just settling it peacefully. Laggy! Got all the way down to five frames there. God, you stupid amoeba. The Cravers propose ceasefire and they'll give me Hydra Meal. Alright, how much Hydra Meal do I have? I currently have... Stop that, god, I hate it! Two Hydra Meal would be 4% food on Empire. And if I could get one more Hydra Meal past that, we'd actually get an, a bonus 20%. Well, we've already taken over Quorum, and I don't really want to attack the Cravers again, so I think I'll actually accept. Sure. Automatons has accepted the following proposal. Cold War. Okay. Relationship has improved. We get 150 dust. Or 1,500. Whatever. Just completed three sciences at once. How did that happen? How much science am I making? Did the dust get converted into science or something? I'm guessing that's what happened. These are relatively cheap, so maybe that's... That might be what happened. Okay, so we picked up, um... Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. 40% trade route bonuses. I do think I want to make that wasteless supply chain thing. Quorum is actually losing population. Starvation in zero turns. Negative food. Oh, Quorum is the planet I just took over, and it's pop-capped. Huh. It's got a colonial exchange. What can I do to make them happy? Well, if I got rid of all this f dust, let's just do the contamination thing. Purify it first. Let's we'll defend our new planet. I don't really feel like fighting the pilgrims since they can't invade me. So I think we're good. We'll just be happy with that planet and go from there. I think Quorum's going to lose some population, though, next turn. Let's find out. It was at, like, 19. It's probably going to just have a bunch of people die. No, it's still at 19. Hmm. Well, maybe we can even keep a full population system. We're going to make it perfect. After the contamination barriers, um, just build everything. I don't even really care what order you build it in. Just build it all. Doesn't matter to me. Okay, is anybody else doing that thing? Yep, they are. Don't have access to Hyperium. How do I how do I establish trade routes? I can't even remember. Um Oh, that's right. You have to like build the structure that lets you do them. And it's listed here. 
Let's see if I actually have any of them. I do. They're already established. Where's that building that lets me make trade routes? Maybe I should, I should research that. Why are we getting interspecies HR? Food. Jeez. More food. Ah. Yeah, I get that thing. Fancy ship. Oh, yeah. The Authentic. 25% on weapons. Ooh. People. I want that. Okay. Alright, I gotta wrap this one up here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.